came came forward. And someone mentioned early on uh, lunacy, and I can't remember the context of it, but someone said something about lunacy, and, and, and it truly is lunacy that we have to be here today. You know, it's crazy that we are here uh, trying to protect the health and welfare of, uh, and the environment of our community, and then we're here a year and a half, two years later, still trying to ask for disclosure and buffer zones. Uh, there's something wrong with the world that we live in that we are still have to do that. And, and these companies, the so-called good neighbors, who, by the way, did not bother to submit any testimony whatsoever in support, or they must feel so confident about their position that they don't even have to show up. Uh, and that is lunacy. It's lunacy to think that this item appeared on our agenda by accident. Okay, that, that is also lunacy. And that you all have to take time out of your day, and I appreciate you doing it, to take time off of work, hire babysitters, to rearrange your lives to come out here to protect your health and your safety and the welfare of your families is beyond comprehension for me. Uh, someone mentioned that these companies were, you know, there's a lot, a lot of people will say inflammatory things, and they say, well, it can't be true. And you would read it on the internet or something, and, and, and it was mentioned that they were dealing with international polluters, and it's true. Anyone who reads history knows these companies are international polluters. Mm -hmm. This does not say that employees working for these companies are bad people. These corporations have a very bad history in the world of polluting and killing people. Okay, to say that they murdered people is not untrue. Think about the Bhopal disaster. Mm -hmm. Okay, the leader of that corporation is, has an office here on Kauai. Okay. The person who was in charge of that operation recently passed away, but it was wanted for international courts for murder, and the United States refused to extra, extradite that person. So it is not untrue. These are, these are truths. Again, it does not reflect on the people working in the fields or working in these factories, but these are truths about the nature of these corporations, and we're here. They're suing us. Okay, they're suing us for the right to spray poisons next to our schools and not tell us about it. These same corporations spent $8 million to $15 million statewide to beat the Maui Initiative and the grassroots people won on Maui. These sort of, it just boggles the mind. This is lunacy and, 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 and we are not done. And I am certainly not done and our community is not done with this. Um, it, it is crazy and we are entitled to protect our health. It's lunacy that the courts tell us that we don't have the right to protect our community against pesticides. Um, and I'm confident that we will find a way to do that. As a council, I'm committed to looking for other ways, and I'm sure some of my council members and colleagues are committed to other ways to do it. It will be a in court. I'm hopeful and so cautiously optimistic that we will prevail in court. There was a lot of talk about record keeping. You know, I agree, we need to keep records. And we need to hold the Department of Ag and the Department of Health and, and various agencies accountable. But even if we complain, we can't get the records. Okay, I've been trying to get records from the Department of Agriculture, and they won't give them to me. I'm trying to get records from 10 years ago. What, did you, what, did, what chemicals were used 10 years ago? And they won't give them to me. Uh, you know, this is, it's time for, for the leaders in our community, our government leaders, to recognize that this is a very real issue. This is not make-believe. The people of Kauai have spoken, you are here speaking, the people of Kauai County, the people of Maui, people all over our state. It is clear that this is a problem that we have to deal with responsibly. And looking the other way and acting like we don't see it is not the answer. You know, putting measures, to save twelve thousand dollars is not the answer. Spent two thousand dollars today sitting here for five hours. Not to mention everybody's time in here. Um, you know, I appreciate again the people showing up today, and appreciate my colleagues who I hope will vote to receive this issue. And I look forward to working together with all of them to find ways that can help 
protect the environment and the health of our people and take responsibility for who we are. Rather than say, well, it's the federal government's responsibility, it's the state government's responsibility, it's our responsibility. It's somebody else's. And that's why you're here, because it's your responsibility. And I applaud you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We've uh, run out of time. So I want to give the council member Gazal and council member Rosal their time as well. We'll do that after lunch.